intertwine we're moving into august and i want to send you just a quick word of love as we continue to navigate all the change uh, that's coming during this pandemic a uh, special shout out to those whose lives are impacted by school and the school schedule um, that we would all practice gentleness with ourselves and one another and we get to lean on each other for support and practice grace and again gentle 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 uh, this is a crazy time and we get to care for one another and lean on something greater than ourselves for care uh, not have all the answers not do this perfectly uh, but do this together so also want to um, mention the work that we're up to as a community is about helping us get into our bodies hello hello and the other thing that i know my dad might not be talking about is just try to believe in yourself and be kind to others even if they're hurting you just try to find what's up with them or try to find out what they're up to and Try to see if like anything's wrong with them. Wow, Etta. Yes. So, out of the mouths of babes and infants, um, Etta is absolutely right. And this is what we're up to. We're up to recognizing when our bodies get pretty activated, like when we feel afraid. Yeah, especially when something you you do something, but you don't know it's gonna happen, and you're scared that someone else will get mad at you because that happened once to me and even though you get mad at someone else for not talking to you or not listening to you and you just hurt them not so much is a good idea because a lot of people are getting hurt yep. and we don't want that to happen some other human beings are hurting other human beings and human beings shouldn't be killed by other human beings because we're all human beings. Gotcha. Yep. <laughs> and let me just say this last thing, Etta. We get to recognize when fear is working in our bodies, when we're afraid. And we yes. get to deal with that better by practices like taking breath and by... That's... That's happening to me because I'm getting afraid of just my lip and the sore. I have to use this like special chapstick that hurts a lot. So I'm a little worried and I get afraid to do stuff. And I just start getting scared and angry. Yeah. Daddy. So let me just say this last thing is that we as a community are gathering together to have better resources and practice to help us recognize when fear, when maybe our lizard brain is keeping us from engaging with all the possibilities of this present moment. Yeah, and when you you shouldn't trust your fear because fear is also anger. Yep. And so let's let's continue to work together on listening and possibility and creativity by uh, practices that help us get into our bodies and settle and, our bodies. And the only powerful magic in the world is peace and community and everything around us.